Right then, we've got the car out for its first speed run. I haven't even done a shakedown run with this. It is just a stock version of the car. The only upgrade it has are ball bearings in it. We're currently on the seafront, waiting for some space on the pavement to go. I'll just show you what's underneath the car, the battery and so forth. So we're just running a standard 3300 battery. And then that is the torque tune motor that came with the car. The pinion in there also is the stock pinion that came with the car. So no upgrades, like I said, other than the ball bearings that we fit to the car. The GPS is fitted in there. I would say one thing, it's nice about this car, you've got room to fit your GPS on the top in the chassis as well. So there we are, we're set to zero. We've got signal, let's set to track. And we'll press start. And then we'll give it a run. So straight away, the handling of the car is not great. It's getting all over the place. Again, a bit wobbly. I'm not expecting too much speed out of this. It's currently about 7.30 in the morning on the seafront, so that's probably one of the quietest towns. Weather's not too great this morning. We have to take a jogger out though, and people going for a walk, walking their dogs, so we have to be mindful around them. So let's bring it back in and see what we've got. And we've got 14 miles per hour. Expected? I think so. I've seen other people sort of saying they've got 14 miles an hour as well. So we'll take another run, see if we've got any improvement at all. A few less people around now. It's again, wobbling all over the place. short run let's see if there's any to change no again 14 miles per hour let's wait for a break let's let those dogs go by we don't want to scare the dogs I think today's run is just a stock run. Let's just get our name on the board. It'll probably be at the bottom of the board, pretty much like it was last year. Let's take advantage of no people around at this moment. We've got another run we can get back in. This time, keeping it a lot straighter. Oh, and that young lady is probably really impressed. I'm driving that car around. Let's see, any improvement this time? No, still 14 miles an hour. And I think we'll stop there. I'm not gonna make any improvement. She was like, just trying to get my number then, going, nice car. So that's my uh, run done, 14 miles an hour is my best run. But this is what this car is better for. Bombing it around, doing sharp turns, and even putting in the odd little jump. I'm pretty sure you shouldn't be doing this with a speed run car when you've got a load more runs to do and improvements to be made, but I couldn't resist it as I'm right near the skate park to give it a little blast round and have a go. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, don't miss future runs on this project. And uh, I've been RC Tamir Addict, and I'll see you next time on the Poor Boys RC Speedrun Challenge.